Well, we definitely did some damage at Sam's Club. I had the girls go with me. Bryce isn't much of a shopper, so the girls went with me. The total was, I don't remember the exact total, but I think it was 1106, something like that. I will pop up individual prices. Some of them, it's gonna be quick because I'm gonna try. I know I like to talk about why and all of that, but some of these items are gonna be quick, like obvious reasons. So let me turn you guys around. I do have stuff over here, but also my table is full. Definitely uh, feel like I got some of my money's worth this time because we got some bigger price items as well. So anyway, let's get into this Sam's Club haul. We, uh, we definitely needed to stock up. Okay, we will start down here. This was a fantastic deal. We almost picked this up a few months ago um, for full price to go on the back of our jet ski. We go to the lake every summer. We're trying to go more than just once just to make it even, you know, make it worth it, the stuff that we're buying. But we utilized one of my dad's blow ups or tubes for the back of the jet ski this summer and the kids really enjoyed it so when i saw that this was marked down i was like okay we're gonna pick up our own so we have it so we can do like day trips and stuff so this is a wow max vibes three rider towable and you can do it two ways you can tow it from the front and the back it's got this part where you can sit on your bum it holds three people or over here, if you guys can see, you can have it turned this way where you're on your knees and you're kind of like sitting up. So I thought that was cool. Now, obviously with the summer coming to an end, even though the weather doesn't feel like it, the summer is coming to an end. So these types of things are starting to be um, clearanced out. Okay, we just got two clothing items. I was hoping to find some shirts for Mark. He wants some like weekend shirts to wear, just solid colors. No luck at Sam's Club, so I'll check out a couple different stores. But with my daughter Rose being obsessed with Stitch, we saw this um, girl's brief set. So she obviously wanted it and we picked it up. Oh, there we go. I was like, is that just a solid color? So here's the different, if you guys have like a Disney lover or a Stitch lover, these are super cute. They did have other Disney prints as well. But like I said, she likes the Stitch. So we did pick this five pack up and then I almost didn't pick this up just because it's still close to it the next couple weeks it shows it's like high 90s not over 100 which is nice but still not sweater weather you know so i cannot wait to wear this um but i picked this up they had these turtlenecks available in different colors i got the silver heather this looked true to size almost a little baggy it is a turtleneck so i'm not quite sure about that i do not own a turtleneck it's been a long time since i've worn one so we shall see but it is vince camuto camuto not quite sure how you pronounce his name but went ahead and picked that up for myself okay we'll go ahead and go back here with extra clothes that i've picked up for everybody we definitely need to do a little bit of decluttering but we ran out of hangers so i went ahead i really love these ones it's a 50 pack of velvet hangers the members mark which is which is the sam's brand i actually picked this up for pearl she really wants to try some live plants in her room she has a great window that gets plenty of sunlight so i feel like these will be great on there i don't know if she's going to want all three of them but she did see this set and picked it up and we'll see how the cats do with it but it's absolutely, I love these. Um, there is, this is like a stone color. Then we've got a gray, and then this is more of a white, maybe like a cream color vase or pot. And then we've got the different succulents in there or plants in there. So we went ahead and picked that up. This just caught my eye, picked it up. This will be an easy thing to throw together like an app board if the kids have friends over or we just want an app board for dinner or lunch or like a quick easy lunch option as well. It says limited time offering members mark Oktoberfest mini pretzel franks. Looks really good. So kosher beef franks wrapped in a wheat beer flavored pretzel and it says approximately 30 are in here. So they must be like super tiny because this box one is not very heavy and two isn't isn't super big either but excited to try things like that we got the crescent rolls we're actually or the refrigerated crescent rolls there's four cans in here it says 32 total rolls in here but pearl is actually doing her meal plan i think i talked about it in the last video or over on instagram i can't remember but pearl is responsible for all meals tomorrow and for lunch she's going to make something really yummy with these so we went ahead and got the big pack so we can make several and we can just freeze some and have some in the fridge to last you know the next week or two 
This is something that the kids really love to snack on, the True Fru. This is the Clusters. So it says Nature's Raspberries Frozen Fresh in White and Dark Chocolate. They just like to munch on those. They're also, well actually Pearl, she's really been into these mini cucumbers and we'll just rinse them off and she just eats it. Like there's no cutting or anything, chopping it into pieces. She just eats it just like that. Like a non-pickled pickle kind of, you know what I mean? Like before it's a pickle, it's a cucumber. So she really likes those. We've been picking those up. Got some ranch. We're gonna be having some salads on the sides of on the on the side of dinners coming up the next like week. So I went ahead and got this homestyle ranch. My favorite is the Olive Garden Italian dressing. We have that on hand too. So the other one that is a fan favorite in the house is ranch. So now we're set with both. Um, even though I got those mini cucumbers for snacking, I went ahead and got these cucumbers. These will mainly be for salads, but typically this is what I pick up versus the mini ones. And I'll just um, chop this up for snacking on or adding to lunches and that kind of thing. But like I said, since I've got that for snacking on, these ones will be for salads. Let's go back over here. Um, we were definitely out of a lot of things that we like to have on hand. Um, I picked up several different nut options so we've got the macadamia nuts this is my husband mark's favorites he loved macadamia nuts so i got the dry roasted macadamia nuts with sea salt this is a 24 ounce container and then i got the whole cashews everybody in the house loves cashews and this is a 33 ounce container also lightly salted and then everybody in the house likes pistachios also i think pistachios are probably rose's favorite so went ahead and got this bag and i used to pick up the one with the shells but then i started finding shells around the house and i was like yeah no i'm not about that so with pets and stuff it's just not safe this is a 24 ounce bag so went ahead and got that um let me go back here i hope i don't forget anything okay I've been putting off getting a food saver because I go back and forth on if I think we'll actually use it or not it was on sale um, and if things are on sale I'm not popping up like the original price I'm just popping up what we paid I don't know if the receipt shows the original price or not so the prices that you're seeing are what we paid but this was on sale and Mark kept talking about it because he really wants to um, get into buying more meats which we did get quite a few meats or I picked out a lot of a lot of meats this time. Um, so I went ahead and got it since I saw that it was on sale and it, we, I just got this one. I know there's a couple different brands. This is Food Saver, the number one vacuum sealing system. And I'm pretty sure I didn't really look. Okay, yeah, I do see that. It does come with some bags, but I wasn't sure how many. So I went ahead and got this also. I can't remember if this was on sale or if it was original price, um, but I did go ahead and pick it up, just the extra bags for it. I actually think I have it. The wrong side oh now it's upside down but anyway it's got six rolls and six bags in there even though it's upside down for y'all so went ahead and got that um definitely got some convenience items and just some foods that we like to have on hand for quick easy meals whether it's lunch or dinner or just for snacking so this sounded really good i've never picked this one up normally i just get regular breaded shrimp but this is southern style and a southern style breading and it includes a sweet mustard barbecue sauce that sounded really good by cpac so i got that then the girls really like smoothie bowls and i'm pretty sure we picked these up before so when they saw them they asked if we could get it again so i went ahead and got it there's four bowls in here so this would be a quick breakfast for all, all four of us during the week. Um, I mean, we're a family of five right now. Paige, our, our six, our oldest kid moved out, but I'm talking like during the week, after Mark goes to the to work, um, once I get the kids up, this would be something quick and easy we could have for breakfast. So anyway, four bowls, says made with oat milk. Um, it's vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free. It comes with a gluten-free granola to add to the top. We always have some kind of fruit that we can add. We also picked up some, I'm not sharing my Target haul. We only picked up a few things from there, but we got some sweetened coconut flakes that we can add to smoothie bowls and that too if we wanted. Okay, coming over here, our oldest dog, Buford. Um, he needed some more of these. I don't even know if I've shared this in a haul because I used to get it online, but... I just canceled all my like well most of my online like from chewy and stuff because i felt like i was getting too much and i was like ah, i know i can buy this pretty much anywhere i can just pick it up when we're out so i got these from sam's club um it is the hip and joint veterinarian recommended this is the same I th i'm pretty sure it's the same brand that we were getting online but it supports cartilage it uh, lubricates joints and maintains muscles there's 180 in here and they are chicken flavored soft chews for your you know older dog who's having some some muscle problems 
So pick that up for Buford. All right, we've got these non-bites. I'm actually, I was looking for Christini at Target and I couldn't find any. And I was like, oh, do I wanna make homemade baguette? And I was like, no, I'm just gonna go the easy route right now. But I don't know if you guys are seeing this video first or a food, like a recipe video, but I have two recipes that I wanna make this week that just sounded really good. I've had them saved for a while and they're super easy. So I feel like they'll be really easy to film. So you guys have either already seen that or you will see that, but this, these non-bites are going with one of them. It's like a dip type of thing. So went ahead and got the non-bites for that. All right, like I said, quick and easy. Like I don't know the last time I picked up like an easy convenience meal from Sam's Club. I've definitely never picked up any of these. So I definitely went a little heavy on this. Um, knowing that we're coming close to a weekend, we always eat out. And I was like, I feel like this will be cheaper <laughs> to just go ahead and get like convenience foods, but that are a little healthier, like homemade-ish than eating out every single weekend. So I got the twice baked potatoes with sour cream and bacon. It does say $8.61 right there. I can see it. there's the bacon in these little cups. We've got sour cream in there. And then the potatoes, it probably, it tells me direct directions on the bottom. Probably have to like pop these in the microwave or the oven, actually the oven. Um, so I got these to go on the side of steaks, which you guys will see in a little bit, picked up some steaks. So I got that. Then we got some cherub tomatoes. This is for one of the recipes that I am going to be making. I'm going to be roasting these. So that's going to be really yummy. All right, now let's go back here. I have been eyeing these like several different brands, but every store I've gone to in the last like several months over summer break, really, um, I keep seeing the already grilled cheese. And I was like, gosh, grilled cheese is so easy to make. But there are some cases where the kids are like ready to eat and I'm not, or they wanna do their own thing. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and try these. I feel like this would be a great little convenience thing that the kids can do. So anyway, there's eight in here. It's individually wrapped and microwavable, fully cooked grilled cheese. Uh, I feel like the ones that I was seeing you put in the toaster, maybe you can put, oh good. So you can like air fryer, microwave, or toaster. So we definitely don't microwave these. They'll just be soft and soggy. But the toaster or the air fryer, I feel like that's gonna be delicious. So that'll be a fun little quick lunch one day, or I could also make that for a little app board as well and then cut them into smaller squares. Okay, something that Pearl picked up, she wanted, she was like hungry. We ate lunch, but after shopping, we were gone for several hours. We're all hungry again. <laughs> so she was like, I want this for a snack when we get home. She also got sushi. So we're all gonna have a little roasted pork, um, I forget how to say this, bao, bao? The girls know how to say it, I just don't. I've picked this up before, I wasn't a huge fan, but I was like, ah, eh, we'll try it. If I don't like it, I know Pearl will eat mine, but this is a little four piece, so each of us can have one as like a late afternoon snack before dinner. So I got that, it says $7.33, and then Rose saw this, and she loves pretzel bites, so went ahead and got this. Bryce really likes the pretzel bites with the nacho cheese dip as well. So this will be something for over the weekend. It's a holiday weekend coming up with Labor Day. The kids have off on Monday. I tried to give them as many public school days off as the public school has, just because I know they're gonna to hang out with their friends. So I'm sure we're gonna have extra kiddos over this weekend. So I did like go into shopping with that in mind for extra things to pull together. So this will be great to have with some extra kiddos over. It's got the savory pretzel bites and then rich and creamy nacho cheese, cheese dip. Looks like it's got two of the cheese dips. So that is good. All right, here's something else that I got to go with the steak. So not all of us like salmon, not all of us like steak, but I am trying to have everybody try new things and different things and things more often as our taste buds change um, and, you know, and just, just see what we can come up with. So I've got the potatoes, the salmon, and then we've got two more things that we're going to have for dinner. I think we're going to do it for Saturday night. So we got the stuffed salmon fillets. These were $22.26, obviously a little more pricey because it is seafood and it's like a seafood filled. There's crab in there, maybe shrimp. I'm not quite sure, but it's a seafood stuffed salmon. So that sounded really good. I'm not a huge fan of salmon, but I love the seafood stuffed things. So maybe I'll enjoy that. We'll see. But picked that up and then I've seen so many people haul this or you know pick this up from Sam's Club and rave about it and we haven't tried it yet so I was like we've got some Spanish style rice in the pantry we've got refried beans we've got you know different things that we can pull together to you know have a few extra sides on hand we've got some avocados so picked this up to have as a dinner it was $12.42 actually we might do like the salmon and everything Friday night and then this stuff Saturday. I'm not quite sure yet. 
All right, to go with the salmon and the steaks, I also got the Brussels sprouts. Uh, these are the seasoned Brussels sprites, sprouts. They were $6.88. Those are, my house is gonna stink, but I love Brussels sprouts. So good roasted in the oven. So pick that up again, just quick and easy. All right, we had several samples today, which is so nice. This was the one thing that we picked up from trying the samples. Uh, we have a few different salsas in the pantry, so I thought this would be great to set out with the enchiladas, um, and it does have a lime flavor. I could, when we were eating these, we were like, oh, these are not, like you can't eat a whole lot of these because it is, they are pretty sour, but I feel like with a salsa or even a queso, they would be really, really good. So we did pick up the Siete Green Free Tortilla Chips with a squeeze of lime, light and crispy. So that'll be delicious. Got a pineapple. We all love pineapple in this house. And then part of Pearl's meal plan, she wants to make like copycat uh, waffle house bowls for breakfast. And I do have hash browns in the freezer, but I, I've been told that these are more similar to the ones that they use. And these are like just quicker and easier to use so i figured that would be great for pearl to try and makes 50 servings so <laughs> we'll have this for a little while probably uh but excited to use that so we'll be making some waffle house bowls tomorrow for breakfast super um excited about that yummy meal so we went ahead and got that the idaho spuds golden grill hash brown potatoes then next to it this is bryce's one of bryce's favorite drinks that we pick up from sam's club they also have four different varieties at target I almost picked them up at Target, but I knew we were going to Sam's Club, so I was like, ah, oh, we'll just get them there. So there's eight cups in there. There's four, it's called Joyba Bubble Tea. There's four of the strawberry lemonade green tea and four of the mango passion fruit green tea. Then under that, all the kids, actually, I don't think Pearl's as big of a fan of mac and cheese as she used to be. I think really it's just Bryce and Rose right now. But I did go ahead and get the big 18 box of mac and cheese, just something easy to have on hand. And it, the kids all know how to do that on the stove. So they're pretty, they're pretty good about making that on their own. All right, I used to pick these up quite frequently, like several years ago, and I haven't in a really long time. Not this specific brand, but different brands of the like crispy rolls. So these are Ava Organics Coconut Crispy Rollers, Original Coconut, it's a certified paleo made with real organic coconut milk and roasted black sesame seeds. So these just, like I said, we were starting to get hungry. We did, we did like the snack section last and these got me. I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick those up. <laughs> so we do go ahead and pick those up for me. I mean, anybody can eat them, but I'm the one who was like, those look good. All right, we're gonna come back down here. I'm stocked up on the meats. So I got a three pack of the 93% lean, 7% fat, fat ground beef. I also went ahead and got the chicken tenderloins. Um, what is this pack? It is over four, four pounds. So a little over four pounds of the chicken. Then in here, these are the, I'm not gonna, I know you guys can't see them as well, but I don't wanna unpack them. They're all going straight into the freezer until I like actually meal plan. But um, these are the beef sirloin tip steaks. There's four fairly large ones in there. It says Angus beef right there. Then I got the beef stew meat. I know, you know, going into like crock pot season, I'm not ready for it yet because of the weather, but I went ahead and picked this up because I knew uh, it's gonna happen sooner or later. I'm gonna wanna make some kind of stew in the crock pot. So at least I'll have this beef stew meat in the freezer waiting for me. And then a few days ago, it might've been like a little over a week or something, but I don't remember where we were eating. Mark got a like roast beef dip sandwich and Bryce really loves steaks right now. Like he's obsessed with steaks right now. So I was like, and, and he commented on Mark's sandwich. He was like, what is that? Like, I wanna try that. So when I saw the beef inside skirt split, I went ahead and picked that up. That way we can make our own little beef sandwiches. So got that. That'll just, like I said, just go in the freezer until I can sit down and get a meal plan going. But I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to pick up going into the next month. Um, another thing that I've seen people pick up that I wanted to go ahead and get to try is the cheese manicotti. Man, manicotti, I'm trying to talk really fast. Um, so I went ahead and picked this up. This will go great with, we can do, um, one, we can do a salad on the side of this and then we can also do some like garlic bread or something like that. So that'll be really, really good together. Okay, back over here, flavor bombs. These are Mark's favorite. I mean, all the kids love snacking on tomatoes. 
but Mark always comments on these. He's like, oh, these are so good. So I made sure to pick up the flavor bombs for him. Also strawberries is a staple in my house. Both boys just absolutely love them. So I went ahead and picked up the Driscoll's. We were looking for blackberries. We were hoping to get some blackberries, but could not find any blackberries. All right, we've got two gallons of milk. That's typically what we go through a week and it is the whole milk. Pearl just, I don't know if you guys sell Pearl's hand, but she was like waving she, as she walked by. Okay, and then pizza rolls. That's another just staple. Whenever we're out, I know that I have to pick it up. Um, another easy thing, either during the week or when friends are over. Thank you. When I was talking about the strawberries, I was like, wait, I know I got blueberries too. And Pearl's like, yes, we did. So I think they accidentally got put in the kitchen with the Target stuff. So we did get blueberries as well. But like I was saying, we were looking for blackberries. Couldn't find blackberries. Um, so we'll just put that on to next week's little like grocery pickup if we run out of a few things. Probably We're probably good for at least a good two weeks before we start running out of stuff. Actually, never mind. We're gonna run out of milk. So yeah, we'll get next week, we'll get milk and blackberries and hopefully nothing else. Um, but anyway, got the pizza rolls. Combination is the kid's favorite. There's two bags in there, uh, 160 rolls each. So each bag has 80, which is perfect for when friends are over. That feeds them all really, really easily. Okay, I interrupt the scheduled program to add more items that were in the kitchen. I just checked though, this is the last of it. So we forgot the blueberries. We put those in the kitchen with the like three Target bags, uh, but forgot this stuff in there too. <laughs> so these are from Sam's Club as well. We got the turkey sticks, uh, love these. They do have beef sticks either if you're a beef fan, but these just taste so much better in our opinion. So we have to pick these up every time. I almost got two of them because we do all love them, but at Target, they have like a smaller bag of these. It's Target brand, but they still taste delicious. They also have little, like they're called bites, turkey bites, same exact thing, just little pieces. And we have two bags of those, not this size. They're like half of this. So I just got the one <laughs> for now. Um, this is something new. I just saw it and it sounded really good. The kids have really been into cooking breakfast lately, like this past week. So I picked these up so we could have these for breakfast one day. It's the Amy Lou country style chicken breakfast sausage with uncured bacon. Sounded really, really good. These are like huge. So it's the whole link, which reminds me of a hot dog or like an actual sausage that you have for dinner, but it says breakfast sausage. So we're going to try those out. And then the kids really love croissants. So I went ahead and picked the croissants up. We can use these for breakfast sandwiches. They also love to use these for lunch sandwiches with the deli meat and cheese and all of that. So went ahead and picked those up but okay let's let's get back into the the regularly haul, the regular haul that i was sharing with you guys okay i know you guys can't see this whole thing but rose picked these out she loves these my mom picks i don't think it's this brand it's a different brand but she has these like fruit bars in her freezer a lot over the summer and rose really likes them so when she saw them the, the kids rarely go to sam's club with me so she saw these and she was like oh, we need these <laughs> so it's a 24 pack there's a strawberry mango and a coconut in there so those are going to be good um no plans for the pumpkin yet but i know like i said with that beef stew it's you know it's fall fall's coming well it's not fall but you know what i mean fall is coming it's right around the corner so i did go ahead and get um, a three pack of the pumpkin because this will be nice to have when I start making some like fall goodies. This was something else. I actually saw this. Rose saw that and I saw this, but this is the Reese's frozen peanut butter dessert cup. There's 24 in here. Um, so this is going to last us quite a while. This shows like the actual size. So they're pretty thin, not too big, but it says with Reese's peanut butter swirl covered in a milk chocolate flavored coating. So ho hopefully those are good. I'm, I'm sure they're going to be. All right, staying in the back, went ahead. This was on sale. I'm not quite out yet, but I figured we'll go ahead and pick it up since it's on sale i wasn't sure if we were going to be going back to sam's before some of their sales stuff went away there's a few things that i forgot as we were checking out i was like oh i needed this this and this so maybe i'll make like a quick sam's run but anyway went ahead and got that the downy odor defense the little beads i like to put that in our laundry i told the girls they could pick out one thing of like a chip type substance they have chips they have Pringles, they have all sorts of stuff, and this is what they landed on, cheese it Snapped. I don't know if I've, I'm sure I've picked this up, but they're definitely into the, the Snapped right now. There's 42 pouches in there. I'd like to say this is gonna last a while, but honestly, it, it will not. They, 
they will eat one like every single day. Some days they're gonna try to get away with grabbing two bags. Um, and then this is something that they, whenever friends are over, they'll all just take a bag and go somewhere and, and, and munch on them. So anyway, there's 21 of the cheddar sour cream and onion and then 21 of the double cheese i got a bunch of bananas love having bananas in the house every so often i'll have one for breakfast with my coffee it's just you know something i like to do before the kids wake up and then we'll like make breakfast but i like to have something in my tummy in my tummy <laughs> before uh, the kids wake up okay got the squeezable sour cream i meant to pick up the container as well that's one thing that i wasn't thinking about um, we want to do some Fiesta Ranch dip, but I can always just run. Uh, we can put that off until next week. So anyway, went ahead and got the squeezable sour cream. There's two of them in here just for various recipes. This is also something we like to have on hand, the Rayo's homemade marinara sauce. There's two jars. What size are these? 22 ounces each. Um, random spaghetti nights are awesome, quick and easy. Okay, you guys let me know what age your kiddo started shaving. So Rose is not quite ready. Um, she's not, you know, growing her hair as much as Pearl. So I went ahead and picked this up and we're gonna, we're gonna start Pearl on the shaving trend. I feel like it's safer now that summer is almost over. She doesn't have to worry about having shorts on and if she, hopefully she doesn't nick herself, but I'm, you know, I'm gonna teach her. I'll show her all the, all the tricks and stuff like that. So anyway, I did pick this up for Pearl. I, I decided to go with the disposables first before buying the more expensive razor just while she's learning, till she becomes more comfortable. So went ahead and got that, and that way we can just toss it away. She doesn't have to worry about um, learning or paying much attention to the blades and, and all of that. So I went ahead and got that, and then I did get the three pack of the Skin to Mint Skin Therapy. Um, this was really the only option of shaved cream there, but like I said, I wanted to go ahead and get those so we can, we can start on that track. This was something that Pearl asked if she could pick up. She really loves these little mini Frappuccinos, and they're, they're really tiny so when i had to pick these up there's 12 in here it's starbucks and this one is the caramel yes there's caramel they didn't have the other one but i know at target it's probably at other stores as well it's just target is the main grocery store that i go to it's the closest but they have like a white chocolate one also if that's more your your flavor um vibe so got that one because pearl likes those then i've never picked this up before but sam says carry this for a long time and i always look at it and i'm like oh i want to get that but i'm really well in the past have been the only one that loves quiches pearl is getting into you know more things and even bryce and rose are starting to try more stuff as they're getting like preteen pubescent age so i went ahead and picked it up i figured okay we'll give it a try there's two in here so we won't i won't cook both of these at once we'll have these for a little while there's a classic lorraine which is my favorite it's basically just eggs cheese and bacon and then the other one in here is a cheddar and broccoli i've never had that kind of quiche so i'm excited about trying those paper towels running low i think we have like two yeah i was gonna say three but i think I just put the third one in there. So we've got two left. Went ahead and picked those up. It's the Bounty 12 rolls. They're big size though. So that lasts us quite a while. We probably, we definitely, that's not something we pick up every month. It's probably like every three months or so. All right, that's it for this table, but I do have more stuff behind me. Bam, and it's not even a little bit either. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, over here, these were on sale also, and I know that we're running low. This is what we all use, and I mean all by kids included. They're responsible for cleaning their own toilets. So I went ahead and got the Clorox toilet wand refills. There's 36 in here. It comes with a bonus handle. Most of the time I just add that to my like donation pile. And sometimes I'll keep a few on hand just in case some get yucky, but they're super easy to clean. So anyway, I just get it because I need all the wand refills. I should probably look around and see if I can find a cheaper option since I don't need the wand. I just need the little, the soap scrubbers. Okay. Premier Protein, they had the pumpkin spice. So I don't think I've ever tried this one before. I love the cafe latte and uh, the caramel one. Sometimes I like the vanilla one, but the cafe latte is my number one caramel too. Had to get this one to try it out, um, the pumpkin spice. So went ahead and picked this up. And what I do is if I'm not eating breakfast in the morning, and sometimes I'll do this if I'm not eating and then I have a banana as well. But this is what I will brew a cup of coffee. Don't put any creamer, sugar, anything like that flavor in it, and I will dump it into this, well, in, into a cup. But I'll pour this and a cup of coffee into a glass, and that is my breakfast. I love to mix coffee into this, they're so good. So anyway, this is a 15 pack, 30 grams of protein, 
Premier Protein Pumpkin Spice Shakes. They are, well, I don't know if these are super delicious, but I like the Premier Protein Shakes. They're really good. All right, went ahead and got a pack of uh, small water bottles just with different holidays coming up. I felt like this would be something great to have on hand. We've got a holiday party that we're planning for the kids with their friends over and just as an extra way to get some water in them when they're over and you know eating all the goodies and stuff like that so that that's why i talked myself into that went ahead and picked that up that's an 80 count um and we just got the members mark which is the sam's club brand all right this is something else i like to have on hand just spaghetti again with spaghetti sauce something quick and easy if we're just running out of time or something doesn't work out it's the end of the day and we're like ah what's for dinner instead of i'm trying to have more convenient stuff on hands instead of eating out because eating out has gotten so expensive we enjoy eating out don't get me wrong like i love going out trying new places stuff like that and just having one-on-one -on -one time we'll you know take the kids sometimes one-on-one -on -one. but we rarely get out of anywhere under 60 80 dollars depending on and that's like fast food restaurants over 100 for sure we ate out the other day and it was 175 dollars for the five of us which is crazy so anyway love having spaghetti on hand this is a six pack i believe yeah six pack it's called the pantry pack and it's just regular packets of spaghetti all right this is something new the kids actually said that the public school this is something that they would get sometimes they rarely ate breakfast at school but this is something actually i don't know if this was a lunch option or not i just know they said they used to eat this at school sometimes so they saw it wanted to pick them up to have at home it's a 20 pack of the jimmy dean pancakes and sausage on a stick it says six grams of protein per serving pancake batter covering a sausage link so went ahead and got that it's definitely not something i would have picked up because they never mentioned it they just since rose and pearl with me they saw them and they were like hey i want to get those so anyway pick those up um got these cookies you can see that they're already open we all had one so there's four missing <laughs> there's four missing after everything was brought in i changed the battery on this camera and i was like okay let's have a little snack before we go into filming and then the kids have to come back in here and help me put all this stuff up because it's you know during the day marks at work so anyway went ahead and picked these up we picked these up when we went to the lake over this summer and all of the kids there mine and family other family members that were there included they all gobbled these up so these are the mini candy cookies there's 36 in here so got that need some flour we're gonna be making some homemade pizzas we were actually gifted a pizza oven and i am super excited to try that out we're gonna be we might be trying it out tomorrow just depends on well you guys are it's already after tomorrow when you guys see this but anyway depending on what time mark is home from work i don't know if i want to fire it up and try it on my own just yet i get nervous about stuff like that but um if not tomorrow then this weekend or next week or something like that but we needed some flour so we can make some homemade pizza dough uh, for our salads like i said we're gonna have just salads gonna be it's just an easy veggie to have on the side of pretty much every dinner so i went ahead and got the six pack of the romaine hearts so we can easily whip up a salad um every night to go with dinner i have some slider buns or sliders little beef sliders i actually got them from sam's club the last time i went i feel like i shared that haul with you Maybe it was when I went with Kira. I don't know, but I still have those in my freezer. I kept forgetting about them this summer. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get the buns. That's one more extra thing in my freezer. So I'll see it so I can put it on my meal plan. So I got the brioche slider buns, 24 count. And like I said, that'll just be a meal that I can pick from when I'm meal planning. These two veggies, I picked these up just for a quick option to go on the side of a dinner. I got the French green beans. I love to put this in a skillet with butter garlic and slivered almonds super delicious just saute it until the green beans are you know soft if you like them soft or just a little crispy i like mine with just a little crunch left in them so went ahead and got that as well as the broccoli this is just something that i love to have on hand and i throw on a sheet pan sometimes i add other stuff to it sometimes it's just broccoli put a little seasoning oil on it and roast it until it's nice and crispy and it is delicious so i picked those up got some meatballs just a little staple i like to have on hand to bulk up our spaghetti nights we just used the last of them so i got some more we are out of chicken nuggets so i let rose they had like three different kinds of chicken nuggets i let her pick which one she wanted they had dino nuggets they had the chicken bites that are more crispy and then she picked these ones because they most resemble mcdonald's chicken nuggets <laughs> so that was her reasoning behind picking these ones it's a five pound bag of white meat chicken nuggets fully cooked breaded uh all the things okay and then 
We went ahead and got these, again, just as a quick thing to have on hand. These are great for appetizer boards as well. I'll cut them in half. Um, sometimes I'll just leave them whole, it just depends. But these are the egg rolls, pork with freshly chopped cabbage, carrots, and celery. And there's 16 in here. It says two bags um, of eight. And then last but not least, I got this pillow. I think I'm gonna put it on the couch. I may do like a clean and decorate type video or i might do like one room at a time because i really need to go through the house and deep clean i'm just not always the best at filming that but i get requests for it all the time so we'll see as i'm pulling things together i may do like a little deep clean and and quick decorate because i'm not gonna i don't decorate a whole lot for fall or halloween christmas i go all out but as far as the holidays leading up to christmas they're more lighthearted so or you know just lighter in the house so anyway i picked this pillow up i thought it was super cute they had a ton of different ones to pick from um not just like thanksgiving fall related but also halloween okay so i am tired from talking so much hopefully um i didn't go off too long or too much on certain items but i hope you guys enjoyed the sam's club haul i definitely feel like we needed a good stock up and taking the girls with me we did pick up a few extra items as well if you enjoyed it give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you are new i hope you're having a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video bye